it doesn't take many days for seedlings to germinate. Some takes three days, some takes five days, others take seven days, even some that can, can go up to 14 days. Depending by how you take care of them, uh, if it's capsicum, how you break the seed dormancy. I've done a very good video about that, a very good training about breaking seed dormancy. Uh, also, how you cover them. We did our cabbage nursery a few days ago, and um, we were giving them, um, I told you we are giving them around three to, three to seven days for them to germinate. But now, it's not yet, seven days, seven days are not yet over, but they look like uh, we are late, but we are not late. It's a learning process, it's sharing the farm experience, so it is what it is. So you have to learn, you have to keep monitoring them. You know, we are so much involved into land preparation. As you can see, we are plowing a uh, portion of our land so that we can, we can start our, um, our farming journey. Uh, so we have not been so keen on looking in between and uh, seeing what is germinating. Though we have been doing uh, irrigation, we have been doing water, watering, and everything is okay. So today, we are opening the nurseries. Today is the day that we are doing the opening. Today is the day that we want, I want to show you how to remove the mulch because the mulch has already speeded up the rate of germination. To remind you, I told you the mulch uh, conserves water, increases the, the temperatures in the soil, and also prevents some of the weeds not to germinate. So everything is, is okay with the mulch. The proof is here. And this is our nursery looks like when you open it. So as you can see, uh, the mulch is, has, we left it. Nothing has changed. Uh, but we have been watering. So we want to see whether it's true. Uh, they have germinated. Or Fred is lying to you. You have to do it slowly to prevent uprooting them because you can you can end up uprooting them. See? They have germinated, others are even germinating. You can see even so many enemies here. So many enemies, I've just caught one thief. I've caught a thief that I'm going to deal with, the, with him or arm mercilessly. The crickets are the biggest enemies when it comes to nursery's and this is a big threat because it will start consuming on the young seedlings. So this, I'm warning these to go to tell their family that I will start working on them soon as time possible. From tomorrow or in few hours time, I'll start working on them to prevent them from, from eating my nasalis. So, this is how the nasalis looks like. There is a lot of work needed to be done here. Uh, other than uncovering them, a lot of work need to be done. The nursery looks as if it's 10 days old and uh, you have not yet, one week is not over but uh, you can see the germination is fairly good. I like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm seeing. The germination is over 90%, see? It's over 90%. They have grown taller. They have grown taller because of the of the mulch. That is a problem. Let's uncover here and see. And you have to do it slowly by slowly to make sure we don't uproot our babies, our young seedlings.
the germination is is good the germination is okay you've seen it yourself so uh, like i've been telling you if you are if you have time if you can be able to do it just do the nasalis yourself and this is the result of the of the good job it's it's a good job it's a job well done this is the result you can see it yourself the germination of our cabbage is 100 percent 90 percent if not 100 percent this is our nursery we are targeting to do uh, i'm targeting to to do uh, around 3000 eggs from this nursery i did around uh, around 13 grams 25 to 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 25 to to 3000 heads will come from this one nursery seen it yourself so you make sure everything that is lying on the on the nasal bed is is removed watering is is very key and watering is very essential when it comes to to such such jobs or uh, when it comes to nursing uh, because that what brings in germination if there is poor watering you won't achieve such a good uh, germination they don't look as appealing as now but wait wait for three days after opening here you'll see how this because you start growing just like a normal crop there is a section here that never germinated i know here it's because of uh, water that covered this place during irrigation but uh, they are going to germinate others are still coming out so we are hoping that by the head of of a uh, few days from today or by the end of the week it, our germination will be perfectly okay and it will be very good so that's how our nursery looks like so we check the other nursery because we have we have few nurseries here. We check the other one. This one now looks, 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 looks like it, it started germinating many days ago, as compared to the to the other one. The seedlings here looks bigger. The mulch will be reused again, so. I'm keeping them for my next cropping because this will be a nursery area. Uh -huh. Can see how they look like. The germination is very good. Look at this. Look at this line. Look at this line. Good germination. I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here. I'm loving everything. I'm loving everything. Because these are assurance that we started 
at the light node. Now it's just now to maintain to maintain what we started. Point, point to note, point to note um, uh, when it comes to uncovering the nasalis or when it comes to removing the mulch, you have to do it late in the evening uh, or you have to do it um, very early in the morning. Doing it late in the evening or doing it early in the morning, this helps your seedlings not to be affected by the, the, the heat shock. Because as you can see, they are very young, they are very tender. Uh, we've done our uncovering in the evening because now overnight um, and in the morning, they will have adapted to the environmental condition of the day. Though, uh, if you do them in the morning, you can also come with the... With the uh, with, with with the stress stress relieving product, there are some uh, product that we use to spray them uh, against stress. But I'm not going in my case. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do the watering when times comes. I will do the nutrition, and uh, also we have some more classes on how to prevent uh, pests and diseases. Because as you can see, they are very clean. They are very clean. No pest, no disease. But now we need to start fighting the pest. The only thing that um, has affected them is uh, they, they look taller. They've grown taller because of the, the mulch, uh, because of the late removing of the mulch. But it's not a problem. I will start working on that so that I can give them good health and the best health. So mark that, the time to remove them. If you remove them in the evening, the best time. If you remove them in the morning, it's still okay. If you have a, a shock product uh, that prevents them from shock, that's still okay and um from there we remove now our last bed we remove um, our last bed and make everything here clean we need to sweep everything that is here and make it as clean as possible so this is our last this is our last uh bed that we are removing because the others have not yet germinated See, they've grown very tall, not good for the seedlings of this age, uh, but I will manage. I must show you how to deal with them and to make them as healthy and to make them good seedlings for transplanting. Germination is super good, super good, super good. That's the starting point of our farming. 
the nursery and the elder siblings. Those who are asking how I'm going to remove the mulch or the, the water I'd covered my seedlings with, you've seen how simple it is. Uh, it's us farmers who become lazy sometimes. Um, these are the simple steps I'm sharing with you so that you can learn, so that you can apply, so that you can be the best farmer. I want you to be the best farmer through learning and following these footsteps that I'm showing to you. Hope you've learned something from our today's training. And if it's your first time that you're watching us, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is a learning center. This is a knowledge center.